In this video, we're going to go through the Alex problem called relating vapor pressure to vaporization. In this problem, you're given a graph with um, data for three different liquids. The graph is giving you the vapor pressure in units of tor versus the temperature in units of degrees C. Vapor pressure is the amount of the gas that is evaporating, like naturally evaporating over the surface of the liquid. The first question is asking us to determine which liquid is the most volatile. Volatile is referring to its ability to just easily and quickly evaporate. So the substance that has the highest vapor pressure is the one that is the most volatile. The substance with the highest vapor pressure has a large amount of gases that are just um, readily and freely evaporating. On my graph, the blue line corresponds to the, the highest vapor pressure, and that corresponds to the acetone molecule. The substance that is the least volatile, that's the one that's least willing to evaporate, and that's going to be the one that corresponds to the lowest vapor pressure, which on my graph is the green line, which is ethanol. Second question asks us to pick the normal boiling point for each liquid. The normal boiling point is the um, the vapor pressure, the temperature when the vapor pressure is equal to one atmosphere or 760 torr. So to find the boiling point, we have to find the temperature that corresponds to 760 torr. For tetrahydrofuran, which is the black line, I'm going to kind of move across. These red lines are here to make it easier for us to read the graph. I'm going to uh, find the temperature that matches up with 760 torr. It looks like it's 61, 62, 63, 60, 65 degrees C for tetrahydrofuran. And for ethanol, ethanol is the green line on my graph. Again, I want to find the temperature that corresponds to 760 torr. That is, uh, looks like 78 degrees. And then last but not least, acetone. Again, we want to be sticking with 760 torr. Normal boiling point refers to the boiling point at 1 atm or 760 torr. Uh, that is 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56 degrees Celsius. The last question on here is going to give you a scenario, a pressure temperature combination, and it's going to ask you about um, evaporation of a substance or condensation of a substance. So the first thing that you want to do in this problem, it says e ethanol, we're working with ethanol, make sure you're working with the correct line on your graph. Ethanol is my green line, so I'm going to stick with the green line for this problem. And it says that the, the ethanol is at 65 degrees C. So I want to find the 65 degree part on the graph. We're going to just focus on that temperature. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And at 65 degrees C, the vapor pressure of ethanol is 440 torr. So I'm finding like, oops, reading across the graph finding the vapor pressure that corresponds to the temperature. So what that means at 65 degrees C, it means that eth uh, ethanol likes to have 440 torr of gas up above the surface of the liquid. So we're going to keep that in mind. At 65 degrees C, ethanol wants to have 440 torr of gas. So this tells us that um, in this scenario, we have 261 torr of gas. That's not as much as ethanol wants. Ethanol wants 440. So since in this scenario, the vapor pressure is too low, ethanol is not happy with that, it's going to evaporate some more of its gases up so that it can get up to 440 torr. Um, as it evaporates some of these gases, those gases are going to come from the ethanol in the beaker. So this means that the question is asking, will there be more or less liquid in the beaker? There will be less liquid in the beaker because ethanol is going to take some of that liquid and it's going to evaporate it and turn it into a gas so that it can get up to that 440 degree or 440 torr vapor pressure.